let's have a look at and analyzing the features for our paired comparison. So in terms of the features, shape, center, spread, those are three key ones that we always want to look for, okay? And so we always want to link that in context, okay? Big idea, remember, always in context. So whatever this experiment is that I'm doing, I need to tell us about that, not just say the median is five. It needs to be very specific. So here's an example. So we've got our writing times, and we've got the dot plot. So the first thing I want to do is with my data is I want to kind of draw the shape over the top of that. Now it's quite flat and that's because the data, the dots are so small and what I might do is I might actually change the size of those dots to enlarge them. That would make it easier for me to see the shape. But the key thing that I'm looking for is either, is it, does it look like some kind of normal? Does it look like right skewed? Does it look like left skewed? Okay, and if I take where the median is, that middle line there, I can see, well, the distance on the right-hand side is much bigger than the distance on the left. So that tells me there's a longer tail on the right-hand side. So that means my data is right skewed. So when I'm writing the sentence, notice that I've talked about the shape of the differences between the time it takes to do it with the non-dominant and dominant hands. That difference is right skewed. And then I've justified that by saying that there's a longer tail on the right hand side. Okay, so that's the first step is talking about the shape. Then I want to look for the center. So I want to look, well, where's my median? <clears throat> so there's my median about 60. And I can get it very specifically, look in there, there's a median of 59.5. And that the units of that is in terms of seconds. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I can say I notice the median difference between the time it takes students to write with their dominant and non-dominant hand is 59.5 seconds. Um, and so what does that mean? Which one are they taking longer? Are they writing, will it take them longer to write with their dominant or their non-dominant hand? Well, we're getting a positive value. So positive value means that the, that the non-dominant hand is bigger or in this case, longer than the dominant. So that's what I'm going to say, is it means that students take a median of around 59.5 seconds longer to write a paragraph with their non-dominant hand compared with their dominant hand. Okay, so there's my shape and my center. Now, another thing that I want to do is look at the spread of the data. So in terms of the spread of the data, we want to think about interquartile range. So we want to think about the distance from the upper quartile to the lower quartile. How spread out is that middle 50%? So I can go upper quartile of A to 2, lower quartile of 41.5, and my interquartile range is upper quartile minus lower quartile. So that would be 82 take away 41.5, and that's going to give me 40.5 seconds. So I need to write up a sentence. So there's my IQR. And I'm going to say the spread of the difference in the time is 40.5 seconds. So that's a quite a reasonable spread. Okay. And then I just need to check for if there are any unusual features. There's nothing particularly going on there. Um, so that's what I would want to write up for my analysis.